Welcome everyone to another quick shout out here, public service announcements, warning, broken, they say it here themselves, of Peter Paul Smith, um, warning, not only deprecation, who cares, owes to Amiga, even I, no Cray or Xenix, but multiple warnings, future backward incompatibility, warning, backward incompatibility, more backward, Incompatibility, backward, 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 incompatibility. Um, and warning new build requirements. And so on a first glance, you might read, yeah, incompatibility, yeah, whatever, you whatever. And of course, features and everything is amazing. Uh, and thank you very much, GNU and Paul Smith, for new make release. However, I am unhappy to report to you that that breaks glibc. <coughs> or how other would say, Warp, warp, warp. And so I didn't even notice it instantly. Also, we have we have not only that, but obviously that for that. Um, so we are professionals. And I didn't even notice it yesterday, right? Um, so our AI bot data, they are running on a Ryzen 1550X um, build cluster. Um, updated make yesterday. And it scrolled by and I didn't immediately notice it and other stuff kept building. And then you saw me yesterday frustratingly debug random stuff and I was wondering why the freaking act does microblaze and something else. Um, I think I documented that maybe. Uh, microblaze and super, oh no. Updated, where is even, or oh, maybe I didn't. Uh, Microblaze and some other architecture, so not all, but some are uh, Spark, of course. And and that is the thing, right? Um, recurring theme, the only constant is change and regressions, and people don't think about the consequences, give a shit, and don't even test their good old code, right? Um, so what is the thing here? This Spark and Microblaze, you could say, yeah, Spark and Microblaze, uh, who cares, right? But I mean, theoretically, they are supported in glibc and it could also um, hit other builds, right? Linux kernel. Um, I, I don't know why, what causes that. I mean, with all these warnings and incompatible features, thank you very much. Also, nobody asked for that, right? All wanted only like a working freaking Mac implementation. Like nobody asked for all this GNUism and all this, like they also added here, like new uh, shuffle for fuzzing parallel build rules. Thank you very much. Um, also new features of obviously not POSIX standard make stuff. Um, so I improved the port for dash a load average. Yeah. No parallel except requisites. And new feature weight special target um, appears between two prerequisites of a target. Um, they're left in this dot weight and list to complete before. It's like, like seriously, do you hurt me? Um, Nobody asked for this. I mean, who freaking asked for more GNU, non-standard, random fantasy features of, of obviously, I mean, maybe that is a Halloween release, obviously. But the point is nobody freaking asked for that, right? And the thing is also, if you use this stuff, you cannot like use all the make versions or make on BSD and stuff. Recurring theme, right? Breaking that just for the... I mean, why do they do that? Do they need to sell books? Do, you, do they need to see, sell consulting? I'm still actually using Make. I'm one of the last... Not the last. I'm one of the... Some last, like Linus Torvalds also. Obviously, many people moved to more modern build systems. Uh, see Make of... <coughs> um, Ninja, Mason... Um, all the other stuff was a was a boost gem and thousands of dozens of build systems. Why? Because Mac is freaking complex, right? People, I'm this older generation, older generation. I can actually still somewhat work with Mac files, right? It was a learning curve. It mostly works for me, but I even I I get it, right? Mac is decades old historic relic that. I, on, I don't use Make because it's amazing. I don't use Make because it's the most readable. I use Make because it was some Unix standard that you're used to have around. And for the good old Unix standard that you can expect to have around, you don't need dozens or hundreds of GNU extensions and half-working shit. Um, so the, 
the errors here for both were, I think, temp files, which they have here also. They use temp files here more, more often for which even freaking is a warning, right? And they could have even freaking tested that of their GNU, right? Why is GNU not su successful? They not only do they not make amazing stuff, they don't even test their own shit, right? Um, and that is a recurring theme. I recurrently say with the GCC release, with the GLibc release, with the GNU Mac release, why did they not test their own shit, right? Sure, we have the best infrastructure. We have, uh, you only need one freaking Ryzen 1350X, 1590X or 1790X and build the world with T2 high performance, just raw freaking fully automated Linux. Yes, I get it. Other people don't have such an amazing build system. With Fedora and Debian, it might be more annoying, time consuming and whatnot to rebuild world. Maybe use a BSD for that. Obviously, the GNU people will not use a BSD for that, but um, from BSD make world, right? But sure, I get it. Maybe just use T2, right? Uh, you're invited to just use, if even if you don't use it, use T2 for uh, regression testing because I, unsuccessful YouTuber sitting here in my freaking office, I found it within four hours, four hours of our AI bot searching the internet, pulling the update, test building it, and I sitting in frustration, why does some random shit not build anymore until I realized, wait, there was a make update, cool. Um, and yeah, 2022, not only do I need to write a microkernel, I also need to make a make, a write make because the freaking GNU people mess up their make so badly that I obviously had to revert it, right? I, I'm not debugging through freaking GNU make to fix this random nonsense. Um, so what is the issue here? Of course, job server stuff of temp files. So given that both Microblaze and Spark, and again, it could, maybe it also happens for ARM64. It did not happen for me yesterday. Maybe if you build it 100 times, maybe sometimes it will occur for ARM and x86 as well. I don't know. Maybe it sometimes will break the Linux kernel. Um, it did not for most of the builds, but given the random incompatible changes for the sake of changes to be busy, and I, I, I don't know. I have no words, right? So given that this is related to temp files that some not, or, or it's, it could also be parallel make. I mean, who, you would need to debug that. And I wasted enough hours of my life debugging my own make files for exact image and exact audio and my own stuff that I built with make. Um, I'm not going to waste my time with that. I have to debug some other stuff like why Long Arch uh, doesn't build right now. But yeah, that is the result, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I could rebuild your Spark if, if you want to, it only takes. So how long does it take to build that, right? Um, and, and pro tip, T2 has a bootstrap target that we have bootstrap, minimal, minimal desk, uh, Xorg minimal desktop for a, gen, for a small package selection to test build some stuff like either test build some shit like for some GNU toolchain maintainers that probably should want to use it. And again, you don't need to have a budget like Xorg foundation burning 70,000 euro for continuous integration. No, all it needs is one freaking, you don't even need a Ryzen 1750X. I worked the last years with a Ryzen 1550X. I worked before here when I started this YouTube channel with a Ryzen 1350X. And pro tip, not only did I work for decades with this slow and overheating and throttling MacBook, in uh, Mac MacBook Intel bullshit, I even my first I mean, not only that, my previous cluster in the company was AMD Phenom because supporting AMD with all the Intel Macs um, and performance was amazing for me, um, even back then AMD Phenom. And my first Ryzen build, because I wasn't sure if I want to spend, what was it? Actually, I think there was not a 3950X, that was the first one, right? So my first Ryzen build three years ago live on this Mormon channel was even only a Ryzen 2700, which I don't know, was it 8, eight core or something? And that is freaking enough, right? You don't even need to build all 26 architectures like I do here recurrently, thread ripping through the stuff. No, just build like maybe two, like maybe a mainstream and an exotic one. And I have no words except reverting this. Um, and also I would advise you not to use all the standard, not, like not non-standard GNU extension features because it's not portable, right? It makes no sense. It is the exact same vendor login bullshit of GNU people. It was often, by the way, the thing. It's not, I'm not making the stuff up. It was with GLibc and GCC. They always had like GNU extensions. Although you could argue, sure, C sucked so much 20 years ago that some GNU C extensions actually were quite nice. Okay. 
Um, with glibc, it's a little bit. I mean, it's still hurting us nowadays uh, because there were so many GNU extensions in libc and GCC that even today they actually remove it at times in glibc, even headers um, and so on. That we still have regressions, right? You sometimes see me ranting here on this channel because. They even freaking remove it, right? Decade later in GCC or stuff or glibc, and it causes breakage, regressions in stuff like black box or xorg or stuff because people accidentally used it, right? It, they they wrote some code, they looked up some man page, it's stuff built on Linux, and that was good enough, right? Nobody built it on BSD. Very few people built it on AIX. Even less people built it in Windows, obviously, because who cares? And so. Even today, like decades later, still GNU extension removal, and we have built uh, regressions. Um, also funny, GNU make has sometimes chosen unexpectedly a suboptimal chain of implicit rules due to definition of or to exist implicit rules, That's like search algorithms. Like. I mean, some of this stuff is even nice, but the, it's like, yeah, if... And that is the thing, right? I, I would applaud also, actually, we wanted to build Spark, right? For the fun of it. I, I applaud GNU. They have done, of course, a lot of getting open source, more started in mainstream and stuff. But we could be so much more successful in the open source world. And, and here is the same. I'm not making this stuff up. When, when I say something, then 99% of the time it is like that. It's broken for no good reason. Um, and that is similar here with temp file of also cannot open job server it's like yeah I mean maybe you could work I, I have no idea why this is special maybe spark and microblaze because yes it builds for some other architectures I have no idea why like one source tree that is GNU libc builds for many and fails reproducible for some others Maybe they do some additional additional, additional trickery. Um, I have I've no idea why it would fail for some. But that is the thing, right? If you pull so many random changes um, and even that you need to warn about, warning future backward or backward incompatibility, to, uh, incompatibility then shit breaks, uh, and it breaks, and it broke, and um, and that is why we don't have nice things in the open source. Why this is sure it's not desktop, but that is kinda to some degree why we don't have the year of desktop Linux because all the tool chain and core maintainers are busy fixing regressions, right? Recurrently for 25 years. I, this is 25 years I do that. I wake up, there are some updates, shit breaks. You, I mean, I could stop updating stuff, but then it's a bit rotten and has security issues, right? Um, so yeah, if you have a patch, I googled that. There wasn't yet a uh, good hit for that. Um, so yeah, fixing that, it, it is as easy as using the old Mac version. It is a pity. There is some stuff that sounds quite nice, but I'm not cherry picking. There's some stuff I will wait. Maybe I try in, in some weeks or months. I obviously can't fix everything. Um, if that is fixed by some changes, maybe the next Gilip series. And the irony is, all the other stuff that I, I'm aware of in T2, minimal desktop or minimal Xorg of all the 26 architectures I built, builds. The only thing, the irony of this stuff is, the only regression is this over complex, humongous Halloween monster that is Gilipc. Good luck debugging that, make files. And yeah, testing their own stuff, right? You would even think they, they test their own stuff. Anyway, that's, that's it for this video. Otherwise, it's, it's probably super amazing release, except that it randomly breaks shit. Um, uh, I think I pointed out the, the most, some different variable uses, some no print directory, what was there? Uh, yeah, pro probably this temporary file stuff breaks shit or other stuff, job server. They also use some MK, MK54 stuff now. Uh, um, no print directory environment command line would take 
precedence over print directory, no, no, whatever. I mean, who freaking cares about print directories, but uh, um, yeah, it said, what can you even still use when you can't even, and that's the thing, you can't even trust Mac anymore, right? Like, at least, what was it, on, on, on Mac we trust or so, like 2022, Make bra breaks, make randomly breaks. Um, perform secondary expansion of all targets, even targets didn't need to be considered during the build. Um, yeah, whatever. I mean, all we wanted was making work, all we got was some random broken stuff now. Um, the long standing issue with the directory cast has been really resolved. Changes made as a side effect of all other targets are now noticed as expected. Amazing. And there is a new pipe-based job server is enabled. Um, make sub process and close job server pipes. Now added a new option. Disable the job server. I mean, I wonder if we can when the pipe-based job server is enabled. Yeah, whatever. I'm I'm not spending my time on this. It's I have other things to do. Yeah, and, and so yeah. Public service announcement, stay on the previous Mac version because at least that works for all the packages I usually build and the new one doesn't. That's it for this video. Maybe we continue with some other topic uh, after this or later. Um, uh, yeah, this is an older version that has uh, glibc, but microblaze breaks the same as microblaze. This is because they deleted Spark version 8 Linux threads so to support vintage and retro. Sunspark stations, we need an, that is an overlay. Um, but Microblaze, is Microblaze newer or is it also an overlay of an older version? No, that is 236. So yeah, Microblaze, as you saw, breaks the same. So, but yeah, well noticed, well done. Thanks for that. I can't change it to a new version unless, I mean, if the European Space Agency um, wants Spark Leon builds or so. Um, we can talk about this. So if you're at, sitting at ESA and, and need some proper Linux distribution, um, drop me a mail. Um, otherwise, I, I need good old fashioned non NPT, uh, NPTL Linux threads for my precious Spark station, of course. Because otherwise, stuff is deleted and no new support is written because vintage and retro. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and. Um, The graph says you probably need to make an uh, add and make to this overlay. Um, no, I won't because I don't trust this new work make version then, right? Um, it's also microblaze with the latest glibc version. And if stuff already breaks within four hours, I don't want to waste even more time of having more stuff randomly broken. So I leave it up to those maintainers to fix their stuff. Until then, I hope you learned something, um, especially that the only constant is change and standard conformance actually is amazing. And have a good day or night and see you next time.